AMS test we have version 1.2.120 64-bit client testing and developer comments about the discussion board very excited to see what is going on with the 64-bit client as we read up on the last video they were planning to release this at the latest by September they were hoping to do it in the summer let's see if they have um, updates for us as to how that's all going and what the plan is for the futur um, so let's see. Testifier has been open for a short period of time in order to test the 64-bit client right now. Cool. There are a couple new options which were added for this test as well. In addition to MapleStory homepage, the developers release another notice uh, commenting on the post from the discussion board from the last month. Okay. Yeah, because they were still reworking the, um, the notice board. Also, don't drop frames, please. Okay, 64-bit uh, client, provide a better game environment. We are preparing to convert the client to 64-bit and have, we have temporarily opened the test server to perform client stability testing. Ooh. We improve the client performance by analyzing the results of the previous test server results. The 64-bit client test will take place until May 3rd, um, starting at April 29th. Okay, so that's just like a small week. We're preparing to apply this to the official server by September 2021 after sufficient stability testing and optimization. Yeah. Okay. So, it pr I guess it's too much to do that during the whole um, during summer events. You just want to make sure that the summer event gets rolled out properly first, and then you know after that you can work on the much more intensive stuff after that. Okay. Looking looking promising. Looking promising. Um, eight gigs. Can you like say how much you want to leak? Uh, memory map input output. This option increases data loading speed by using additional memory. If you change this setting, you must restart the client before changes take effect. Maximum memory usage limit. This option limits the amount of memory used in gigabytes. <coughs> amount of visual memory or the amount of RAM? I think they mean RAM, but there are multiple types of memory, right? Specified limit is exceeded. The game will attempt to release unused memory. Yeah, this is a word that I don't like. <laughs> I don't like this word attempt. Not a huge fan. Any rammers? <laughs> any, any rammers in the chat? VRAM is tiny? Um, wait, doesn't VRAM also go up to 8 now with like the, the latest cards? No? Developer comments and opinions and a discussion board. Okay, so that's all we're getting so far for 64-bit clients. So I guess they're going to take a week to test and see how this uh, affects the current stability of the test server and, and how, that, how all that works. It'll be interesting to see as well, because just because something can be rolled out and works in the test server doesn't necessarily mean that it'll, you know, when it gets to live, that it'll have a, a good easy effect there. So we'll have to see how that all turns out. But yeah, it's good to see that they're moving forward with that, because I do have high hopes for this, that hopefully we can start playing a game that's somewhat uh, stable. That would be really cool. Um... I'm going to cache a lot of stuff to make loading time smoother, but if you limit the amount of memory there, they will start releasing the least recently used parts from the cache, common practice. Huh. So you'll be able to, s yeah, you'll be able to say how much you want it to use. It'll probably like auto detect, the number here will probably be auto detected as like a part of the RAM it detects that you have. And how much should be available, I guess. We'll see. That's a, that's a pretty cute email. Not very smug, but I like it. Um, and then, okay, developer board. We have confirmed the opinions that many users left the discussion board after the notice. March 25th or April 27th, a total of 4,761 opinions were given, and we would like to share the thoughts of the development team on the most actively discussed opinions. Damn. Is this basically like the, the MapleStory forum for KMS? Because I never go to the forums for, for Nexon, for GMS. Is that, is that really active in GMS? Does anyone go there a lot? Does anyone know? 
Uh, please note that due to space limitations, detailed information cannot be provided in terms of things that come from, from blah, 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 discussed on our suggestion board, things that are already corrected through improvements and error fixes in April. Yeah, they're not going to double up on things that they were already that were already on the way. It is. It's very active. Okay, that's good. Uh, developer opinions on the actively discussed content. I'm curious about the reason why the reboot world passive buff changes test duration that was extended. I mean... Because the one-to-one -one exchange was obviously stupid, but <laughs> when a test goes for the April 15th test, there's a difference in efficiency between different classes and reboot worlds passive. Since the existing reboot was passive damage percentage, the exchange class or characters damage and boss damage percentage. Yeah, we changed it to final damage to see if the difference in efficiency would be decreased. It would be if this multiplier was normal. Test results that if you change reboot world passive currently set final damage percentage, the difference in efficiency would be resolved when compared to before. But we confirmed that the more powerful characters who used various methods of enhancement would become excessively strong more than intended as they stacked more damage percentage. Yeah, but but why? But why did you try 1% final damage instead of 1% damage when whenever you rebalance percentage damage to percentage final damage, you always do like 40% efficiency? Why did you try 100% efficiency? Because you knew it was going to be too much. Everyone could have told you that. I could have told you that. The goal of Reboot World passive reorganization was not to increase the overall damage, but to reduce the difference in efficiency between classes. Yeah, sure. We'll conduct additional testing and change Reboot World passive to match this goal. Therefore, the tested content was not reflected in the April 22nd update. It will be released by the June update at the latest. The biggest goal for the test server is to verify the compatibility of the update to the official server through testing. Please note that additional tests may be conducted as required. It will be reflected in the official server. I think it might be a little bit of an uh, oversight to just say, we'll just do 40% efficiency. It might have to be a little bit more efficient early on and then not, and then or only work up to level 250 or something and then not increase anymore. Because since it will be final damage, it'll still multiplicatively make everything and every other upgrade you make after that um stronger so that might be enough as well i wonder if they're gonna do like a tiered uh a skill where like if you reach level 200 you level up the skill so you get more percent or something um or, or less because it feels like if you take away a lot of percentage damage in the beginning it can disproportionately hurt early game characters um, because if you don't have a big Legion and Link skills yet, then the percentage damage is disproportionately very, very strong. Like, if you have no final damage and no percentage damage, then percentage damage is essentially the same as final damage. But once you start adding a bunch of sources, then the efficiency for, um, for damage goes down because it's additive, but then it doesn't go down for final damage because it's multiplicative. So there might have to be some... Yeah... Maybe like 1% every 4 levels early on, and then it goes down to like 1% every 8 levels or something higher up. Yeah, it'd be tricky. Yeah, but if you compare it, like being level 250 and having either 125% final damage, or having... Um, what is it, 50... 50% final, uh, 125% damage or 50% final damage. Like, that's, yeah, that's still way stronger. The average player to change made decent sense. Really? Okay. Yeah, maybe, it, yeah. Maybe for a different stage of the game it would. It is inconvenient to exit, to exist oh to exit bosses using the mouse click the change to the boss exit method was reflected to minimize the effects of the portal um a non-boss element when fighting bosses um i use npc chat usually when i exit bosses instead of the clicking oh yeah but you can't do that anymore you have to click now because it's a different portals right after the change was made we received additional opinions such as change the portal usage message after clearing the boss for issues affecting many users we decided that it was more appropriate to make the changes as simple as possible to minimize confusion for the time being we will keep the current method and observe if additional changes are required okay so like we heard your complaints but there's not enough complaints to make us change it yet that's basically what they're saying there um i'm curious about the developers opinions why does it sound so loud to me but it's probably not too loud though actually i don't know um opinions on the change to luminous dark crescendo logic 
If you change it to a passive skill to reduce the number of active buff skills, when it was an active buff, there was a disadvantage when the skill was reused, the stacks were reset, so we changed the logic similar to the Adventure Magician skill Arcane Aim. Yeah, since the number of stacks was doubled, we also increased the duration. We saw that on the last KMS, right? It went from 8 seconds per stack to 12 seconds per stack between Tespi and live servers. When analyzing the test world's combat records, uh, the change in combat patterns was not big, so in the official server update, we slightly increased the duration. However, there are opinions that the battle pattern can change significantly in certain situations, such as boss battles. So you get to look... I mean, they're probably talking about bosses like Damien, where he's, he's just, like, gone for a while, and you could physically not hit him for a while, something like that. Vehicle being launched, nice. Time to get in there, in a little bit. Uh, certain classes need improvements. Do I, I hope this is like a cluster of, of complaints and not something that people actually post. If you post this, then I mean, please come with something concrete. Like, Measure through the customer conference suggestions notice board. We will adjust performance between classes with frequent balance patches, or instead of prioritizing classes or content mentioned on the discussion board, we will gradually adjust balance by considering all classes, of course. Uh, please merge worlds with fewer players. Please introduce a cross-world maple auction. Oh yeah, does anyone want to... <laughs> Shit, I was going to like grind on a 1-5, but I guess I'm not going to be able to do that now. Uh, or on a 2-5. But if I don't go in now, I won't be able to get into the game, but I'm also doing this. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, each world has a different game environment with different economies. Therefore, in the... Uh, the Process of merging worlds or introducing a merged maple auction, the game usage experience and value of items would change significantly. There are currently no plans to perform a world merge or introduce a world maple auction. Um, if you want to call it, that would be nice. Please limit the difference in systems between uh, overseas maple story. Um, yeah, so they just don't want to, um, they're not just randomly gonna merge. At least in, in KMS, they have no plans. I don't know for GMS if they should do that. I don't think you want to do it too quickly. Some people like to play on a game on a server that isn't super overpopulated. Um, some people want to play on servers that have a lot more people in it. It kind of sucks that you're stuck on one when you want the other, of course. Um, yeah, the, yeah, it's just unfortunate situation. But they can't just like blindly merge everything because you'll catch some things that some people want with some things that other people don't want. It's a little bit of a, of a meme. Uh, please eliminate the difference in systems between Overseas Maple Story and Korea Maple Story. Does that mean that they want everything Overseas Maple Story has? Or do they? does that mean that they want Korea Maple Story to <laughs> get rid of a bunch of stuff? Uh, or, or us to get rid of it, I guess. The customer conference overseas service began in 2003 and localization proceeded according to the decisions of the local publishers in each country as a result. Wait, where did they start in 2003 also? Did like in China or TMS that they also started in 2003? Over a long time, each MapleStory service has developed into a different game with the same IP. Therefore, it is difficult to directly compare systems that are different from service to service or directly change them to be exactly the same. And, and I think you, do, you don't want them to be exactly the same. I think you want them to be slightly different, as long as it doesn't have like negative ramifications, negative effects for the, um, um, for the gameplay, of course. But apart from this background, we will continue to improve the areas of our servers, which appear to be in need of improvements, of course. Probably just let me fucking restart that. Because it's probably like running in the background, unable to actually load. Because Maple Story. Such a great imbalanced meme. Do, 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 do. Uh, what we're looking at? Here. Yes, close that. Uh, apart from this background, we will continue to be with areas. Yeah. So that's a pretty, very standard, very not very specific answer. Uh, please diversify the application time of buff items. We will review this later and notify you through the homepage of any, for any changes. It is kind of weird that some buffs just take forever to apply and that others are instant. Um, that is a bit weird switching from one character to another. Please expand the number of applied link skills and the number of transfers. As mentioned through the customer service concession notice board, we will notify you by June after a little more reviewing. 
Um, yeah, I don't know if this is necessary. Like I said before, like I like that different systems are different and that certain systems have limitations and that certain systems almost have no limitations. I don't like the idea of just give us more because more is better and that that's like the whole beginning and the end of the argument. I like I like systems that have limitations so that you have to make decisions on what you want to pick and you know that you have to have come up with some kind of plan or that there's a certain order depending on what character you're playing that certain things are, have more value. If everything is just the same and everything just is always active and everything, I think it takes away from the uniqueness of a system. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah. Please introduce party type content and content that is not just simple hunting. I like that. As mentioned, customer service will continue to enhance in-game content. That's also like, the shortest answer they can possibly give. Um, I think the fact that those new dailies and the new areas are just so impossible to do for, even for decked out non-reboot players and that actually forces people to play together uh, and to do dailies together is is one step in the right direction, actually forcing some, <laughs> some party play. You'll see more guild play. Uh, Guildies actually doing dailies together and stuff. So I think that's um, that's pretty interesting and I think it's an aspect. Most people probably didn't want it to be implemented in that way, uh, but it's an aspect of party play coming back at least. Uh, improvements to potential lines are needed. We agree that this needs uh, the this need. Oh, we agree with this need for improvements. We we'll establish a, an improvement plan by collecting various voices, including a customer advisory group, which will begin in May. Oh, they're doing customer advisory group on top of that. I see. A boss monster party search feature is needed. Hmm. It's possible around the time of reorganized boss reward, which will take place within this year. If there are any changes, we will notify you through the home page. Hmm. I'd agree, but link skills barely feel like a choice because most of them are too straightforward, like damage. If more of them were viable yet different, Ilium, AB, Mihal, Resistance, then the system would actually feel like a choice and not a preset. But if there's not much of a choice, then why do you need more? Because you have a limit to how many you can use, that introduces the choice, no? That makes it so that you have to figure out which one you need more. If there was... Right? If there was no clear choice... If there was a clear choice between them, then why would... Yeah. That's just more is better, no? Do, do. Is the game up? I think so. Or I'm in the login screen... For some reason. Um, improvements to the Cody Beauty system are needed. We think that f for not... Only two-handed motions, but for other various appearances related things, we need to provide an option where users can select which case they would like rather than changing it in a single direction for all players. However, it is difficult to introduce features like this in a current game system, so if it becomes possible. Are they talking about Cody Beauty systems? I Yeah, this is some NX shit, I don't care. <laughs> but um I guess it's weird that when you're facing left or right, they just mirror your character and it doesn't yeah, they just mirror it. They don't actually shift it from left to right. Maybe that gives a different look or something. Imagine not spending your lag in Twitch chat. Uh, please make it easier to move character names. Yeah, I think that's a whole ordeal now that can be picked up by other people. Uh, character names are unique names that refer to the other to the character, not the account, and only that character can use the character name. Therefore, we currently do not support the transfer of character names to other characters in the account. However, since character names are used as unique names in game, we know that it is uncomfortable as a player of a number of available character names gradually decreases. We intend to resolve this by periodically deleting characters which are not logged in for a certain period of time, so that more character names become available. If it is decided that we, the issue of insufficient character names becomes too serious, we'll, but that's a they're talking about a different problem. The person who wants, like the people who have this as a question are not complaining that, you know, they're running out of cool names. Um, I mean, it's kind of related, but it's not like, it's not necessarily 
it's like a different problem, right? If you have a certain cool name, like, you don't necessarily care that another name that is very similar is still available and that you can just take that one instead. You care more that you want that exact name that you already have, but now you can't get it because your other character already has it. And then switching it over is very, um, very scary. Um, so I'm not sure they were like, they're addressing something that's adjacent, the problem adjacent, but it's not necessarily the problem that the person, that I think this title is, um, is, is asking about, but, you know. Please change the MVP benefits to be based on the world instead of Maple ID. Since MVP rank is calculated based on Maple ID, there are no plans to reduce the MVP benefits to be based on the world. Huh. Please correct that. I guess, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people play multiple worlds. I guess... I guess it's more common than you think. Probably a bunch of people who play non-reboot actually also have a little bit of reboot going. Please work down on Reboot World's proxy boss clearing. We will review improving content so that proxy boss clears are not required and introducing a system to prevent proxy gameplay. Before this, we will reinforce our operation policy for proxy gameplay by May and carry out a policy crackdown. We review improving content so that proxy boss clears are not required. The only the only time where pr proxy boss clears are required is if the person has either a complete lack of mechanical skill or their hardware or like you know their installation is of such horrible quality that they can't um, mechanically uh, like mechanical personal skill or mechanical like logistically they can't do it. And in both of those situations Proxy boss clears will always stay necessary. The only way that you can make it easier is by making the boss way easier and just putting like your kid gloves on and giving everyone like a major set of training wheels. That's the only way you can you can ever get rid of that. So I'm not sure what they mean by any of this. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, proxy is like logging into someone else's account and doing it for them. Yeah. Even though it's a bit weird because like proxy implies like from a distance, but I mean, I guess so. Uh, enhancement to the crackdown on in-game bad manners are needed. We believe that to prevent in-game bad manners is... The worst thing I heard from KMS is that as a non-English speaker, you go to KMS that you immediately get like lie detectored and <laughs> called like pretty uncomfortable names by the Korean players if they know you're English or something. I'm, that was a few years ago though, so I don't know if the problem is still as big, but... That's like the only bad stuff I heard from Chaos, personally, but yeah, I guess I'm hearing it from the slant of a, of a non-Korean players. From the side. <laughs> Proxy means instead of, I think. By proxy means that it's done, someone else does it instead of you. Yeah, I know far would be like tele or something, would be the, the prefix, I think. Yeah. Um, we believe that to prevent in game bad manners, you should improve game systems and take responses to actual actions based on our operation policy crackdown at the same time. Among various, among us? Among various. Bad manners specifically for gameplay, among various bad manners, game disturbance is... Wait, what? Among various bad manners specifically for gameplay, game disturbance is particularly inconvenient when playing the game. Due to the nature of MMORPGs, there are frequent encounters and activities with other characters. Not so much in MapleStory. In reality, it is difficult to define game disturbances from all of those situations. True, because everyone has a different side. With that in mind, our operation policy focused on cracking down on stalking other customers, and we made... Progress in that case only. In addition to improving our operation policy, we'll consider additional points where bad mannered behavior in game systems can be improved. Is it like specific? Are they basically just implying chaosing? Isn't that like the major, the major one? Why do they hate us? They hate us because they ain't us, dude. I guess it's probably mainly chaosing, I'm guessing. Man. 
Um, communication from the development team is not enough. We're trying to communicate with players in various ways, like this one, but we still have many shortcomings. We will work harder. We will update the written inquiries, inquiries from the customer conference by the first week of May, and we will announce our progress for the customer advisory group soon. Oh, can we get one non-Korean person in there? Can we get someone from across the sea in there? Foreshadowing. I'm um, curious if the MapleStory development team actually plays the game. <laughs> Members of MapleStory development team are also enthusiastic users who love MapleStory, and there are a lot of people who have played MapleStory for a long time before joining the development team. However, as mentioned at the Cosmic Conference, there were cases where we did not sufficiently consider the play experience for all classes when changing class direction and performing balanced patches. We will supplement this by listening to the opinions of users through testing. Good. More test servers, longer test servers, there are more direct communication with the players of the test servers. Like Riot Balance team, all peaking gold too. <laughs> Something like that. Um about the direction of the discussion board thank you for sharing various opinions and thoughts uh through the discussion board so that we can become better maple story we're checking everything posted on the discussion board and we'll continue to improve various problems in game based on what is discussed there um as mentioned at the last com uh, customer conference the last i mean the only one right we are planning to do our first reorganization of the dis uh, discussion board by june we will reorganize it in a direction that makes it more effective uh, we have the discussion board will operate as a forum for constructive discussion between users. Therefore, reasons of regrets that you respect other people's opinions and refrain from excessive slander and spam. Okay. We too will continue to share. Because um, of that one guy that said that Reboot didn't need the final damage thing or something. And then <laughs> he started getting like mass chaos in games. <laughs> Was that true? Apparently some guy in Reboot said it, or was it in Reboot or non-Reboot? I don't remember exactly. Said like that the, the final damage change wasn't necessary. And then everyone just started casting him because they all wanted the final damage, of course. <laughs> Farm responsibly? Yes. And ecologic ecologically responsible. Um, we too will continue to share the thoughts and plans of the development team to minimize confusion for users and look at users' wishes more carefully. Good. Discussion board message statistics. Uh-oh, let's see how many people are on there. From March 25th to April 27th, we summarized the content of 4,761 posts. Oh, you can see where everything is coming from. Job balance growth. Well, let's look at the main one. Reboot passive reorganization. 10% of all the forum posts were for them. Apply character name movement system. That was almost 10% of the things. Damn. Add a hotkey preset feature. I feel like there should be major, major, major hotkeyage um, and or presetage, whatever. Um, what are the things that's the most recurring in my my ideas for Maple Story list? Is basically just presets for everything, because in the beginning. I'm a huge proponent of just, you know, making people do the stuff and having the systems be different and having it somewhat be demanding and having that be part of the balance of the systems. But when you have so many things in every single, or so many aspects to every single um, system in the game, and there's so many variables, and there's so, as a result, the combination that you use, that you apply to different situations becomes so vastly different. Um, I feel like you have to work with presets at that point or people are just going to feel like shit that they can't apply to things that they've already worked for and that they know they have and they know they want to apply. You know, like switching familiars in a boss fight, like switching your hyper skills between mobbing and bossing, switching your V matrix preset between mobbing and bossing or different boss presets, you know, for will, for the, for the eye and stuff like that. Um, they did add the hotkey for the rings, right? That if you switch diff to different Oz ring that it just activates the ring, not like whatever... You know, not a significant hotkey per ring. So there is a lot of, um, they're doing some stuff in that direction, but like, uh, yeah, like presets for your drop and mezzo accessories or something like that, right? There's so much that presets could, um, just as general quality of life. When it, back in the day, when it was like switching two or three equips, I didn't really care, but since it's switching nine equips now every time, on top of all the other things, and none of them seem to be really automated, all of it is manual, just, you know, you do hard will, you survive, then you have to die three or four times in phase three so that you have enough time to switch all the stuff around. It's, it, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just weird. 
like either increase the drop rate and make drop rate not apply to the to the boss or you know <laughs> or, or make lettuce switch faster it it's a really shitty situation to be like oh you can switch and it you know it just takes a bunch of time and it's just annoying right and i think in the in the spirit of um them reducing the animation time for scrolling and star forcing it's kind of the same thing where you know we're paying the price we're doing the clicks sure but it doesn't mean you have to unnecessarily keep us there for an hour extra just because the animation ends up being super long right so Game is loading, I click one time, game closes. Beautiful, laptop still working as intended. Uh, but yeah, so it's mainly an update for Korea. So you can see which topics in Korea are, are hot right now and what they're definitely looking at. And you can also see which things they kind of just like, okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and they just kind of walk away from that immediately. And with some things they're connecting it to things they're already working on or they're thinking of working on in the future. So at least there's some more communication going. I, and I expect from some of these answers for the player base in Korea to be completely unhappy with it. And there will be follow up and more detailed communication from the players based on their responses here. And I think that's good because that's how you start the conversation between the devs and between the players to see um, the dev might say, this is not something that we want to do. And if enough players disagree and are like, well, this is something that we all want to see. And again, Koreans are not, uh, the Korean player base is not afraid to put their foot down or you know, uh, or uh, hire a, a protest truck uh, to make sure that Nexon does know what they actually want. Um, and as long as Korea keeps putting their foot down in things that could have a positive effect as well for us in GMS, then in the, the for us that would have a uh, a good overall effect as well. Very curious to see how the rollout and the test server for the 64-bit client goes. Hope it works well. Um, and it can be rolled out quickly and then we'll see if it's something that we will have to wait like another four and a half to six months for until it rolls out for us or if that would be an immediate rollout to make sure that this, the, the, the systems stay synchronized. I don't know how exactly that'll all work. I don't know anything about the technical side. I expect it to be a waiting period, but again, like I don't know how that all works. So, um, so yeah, lots of stuff there. Let me know what you guys thought about all of it and uh, which of these topics you agree with, disagree with, or which topics do you think should be on the board here, like from a GMS perspective? And when is our GMS player conference? That's the real question. Because I think we could use one of those. I have to be in the, in the video fast, send a message. No alarm is in the, in the video. Good job, dude, you made it. All right, let me know guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next KMS update. All right, bye.